it's important in any experimental procedure that we're carrying out that we have all our reagents and solutions that we're using at the right concentration. So these films are to give us some practice in looking at how concentrations are expressed in different forms and to be able to calculate how to make these solutions and dilutions from them. The first we're going to look at is calculating molarity. Molarity is an expression of concentration of a solution and a one molar solution, this is its molarity, is defined as one mole of the substrate dissolved in one litre of solute. So we need to know what one mole of a substrate is. So we need to be able to define what one mole of the substrate is, how to find that out. Well, one mole of the substrate is actually equivalent to its molecular weight expressed in grams. So that one mole of sodium chloride, for example, equals its molecular weight. And we can find that out from looking at the label on the side of the bottle of reagent and we can see that the molecular weight of sodium chloride is 58.4 grams. If we were to do the same for another substrate, for example, tris, which quite often gets used in making buffers that we use in molecular biology, one mole of tris equals its molecular weight, which we can find to be 121.1 grams. So to make either of these into a one molar solution, one molar sodium chloride, is its molecular weight in a litre of solute. And the same for tris, a one molar solution of tris equals its molecular weight measured out and solubilised in a litre of solute. This is all fine, but very often it's not a litre of a one molar solution that we need. So we need to calculate different molarities in different volumes. So how would we go about preparing a 0.2 molar solution of sodium chloride. So a one molar solution we've already seen was made by solubilising 58.4 grams of salt in one litre of solute. To make a 0.2 molar solution, we need to find out how much we have reduced this factor here by. To get from 1 to 0.2, I've reduced the amount of sodium chloride fivefold. So to make a 0.2 molar solution, it's 58.4 grams divided by 5 in a litre which equals 11.7 grams of sodium chloride in a litre of solute. It may be that the volume that we need is not a litre, so how to prepare 30 mils of a 1 molar sodium chloride solution? Well, 1 molar solution is 58.4 grams in a litre. Now, a litre we're going to express here as a 1,000 mils because we were working with millilitres in the question. And we're still making a one molar solution, but we need to find out how, by what factor, we are scaling down here to get from 1,000 mils to 30 mils. So if I was to take the 1,000, divide it by 30, it's been scaled down by a factor of 33.3. .3. So I need to get my 58.4 divided by 33.3. .3. And we'll find that to make that volume, I need 1.75 grams of salt to give me 30 mils of a one molar solution. In this question, we're asked to prepare a solution that is 50 millimolar sodium chloride. And this is to introduce this expression as millimolar. Well, a one molar solution is equivalent to a thousand millimoles. So to prepare 50 millimolar, I know that my one molar solution of salt was 58.4 grams in a litre. And that's the same as calling that a thousand millimolar. And then to calculate 50 millimolar solution, how did I go from a thousand to 50? That's a thousand divided by 50 equals 20. So I have to divide the 58.4 by 20 as well, to give me 2.92 grams of sodium chloride per litre. So there are some questions here for you to look at and if you pause the film and try and work through the solutions yourself and then start the film again to see the worked answers.
The first question was how to prepare one litre of 100 millimolar sodium carbonate solution. The molecular weight has been given to us as 160 grams. Well, I would do it this way. A one molar solution equals 106 grams in a litre. And one molar, we already saw, was 1,000 millimolar. And we want 100 millimolar. This has been divided by 10, so I need to divide 106 by 10 which would give me 10.6 grams in a litre. In question two, we've been asked to make a solution that is 50 millimolar, and we don't want a litre, we want 400 mils of it. So I would start by showing again how I would make a one molar solution of Tris, which was equal to its molecular weight, 121.1 grams in a litre. I want 50 millimolar, so that's my 1,000 millimolar divided by 50 equals 20. So a 50 millimolar solution would be 121.1 divided by 20. That's in a litre. So a 50 millimolar solution would be 6.06 .06 grams in a litre. I don't want a litre. I only need 400 mils. So this is a 1,000 mils. So 1,000 divided by 40, 400, is a factor of 2.5. So I need to reduce this again, 6.06 .06 grams divided by 2.5. So finally, my 50 millimolar solution is 2.42 grams of tris required for 400 mils. So the last question's a bit trickier. We're working backwards in this one. We've been told that a solution has been made up in two litres with 83.7 grams of the substrate. So we're asked to calculate the molarity of this solution. Well, we can begin to calculate how much of the substrate was actually put into just one litre of solution. So in one litre, they had 83.7 divided by two which was 41.85 grams. So that was the amount of substrate in one litre. Now the molecular weight of the substrate we've been told is this here. So we know that we have certainly got a solution that is less than one molar, but we need to calculate exactly what that is. So a one molar solution would have been 136 grams in a litre. Now we didn't have this amount, we had 41.85. So I need to calculate here the factor by which this has been scaled down. So the molecular weight divided by what was there was 41.85, which equals 3.25. So because this number here was divided by 3.25 to give me the answer of what they actually put in, I need to divide my one molar solution by 3.25 as well. So the answer was a 0.31 molar solution made in two litres. So that was calculating molar solutions. In the next film, we'll be looking at how solutions can be expressed as a percentage concentration.